Hello everyone and welcome back to another Shnaka 2 video. So I don't like the new Minecraft 1.21 auto crafter. Uh, and I'll explain why. And I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It's just I have some reservations about it. Slight reservations. But first of all, for those of you who don't know, Minecraft Live recently just happened, which is basically um, all the updates for Minecraft and the next version for Minecraft is 1.21. And so, in 1.21, they're planning to add this new block called the Crafter. And it basically enables auto-crafting. And so basically using redstone, you can link it up to a bunch of stuff. And it can basically automatically craft items for you. And so, at first glance, this is an awesome block. I think it's an awesome block, for sure. Right? It adds tons of functionality to the game. Um, you can build much, many more things. Uh, unlocks a ton of different redstone contraptions. It's great, right? But on the other hand, right, and I've heard this argument like used multiple, multiple times across many different updates, it doesn't feel right in my opinion. Okay? Now, obviously, I guess Minecraft has always had these types of phases, right? When everything was added, it, it, when, when anything gets added, it never feels right, right? The Nether update, I guess, when they updated the Nether, if I like change the core aspect of the game, people some people complain that it didn't feel right to the game, right? And it was just like, I don't know, a, a tiny bit, uh, not very uh, vanilla, I guess, right? Uh, same thing when people added, uh, well, not when when they added the sniffer, right? Or uh, uh, th there's a ton of different examples. It's basically like whenever some they Mojang adds some something new. People are always bound to complain that it doesn't feel vanilla. But to me, the auto crafter is kind of changes the game very, very drastically. It's not like the sniffer or the nether. Okay, that's a terrain update, it's a terrain change. Even 1.18, that's a terrain change. Auto crafting, like, it changes half the game, right? The whole game is called Minecraft. You mine and you craft, right? And one of the most manual things, parts about the game has always been the crafting. And now if you automate that, I guess it's fine. But I, I, I think it's just the general trend like to Minecraft losing its vanilla-iness. Vanilla um, it's like more and more things become more complicated and... and like automatable less simple right like I think the beauty of Minecraft before was the simplicity right people built houses out of cobblestone and wood because there was nothing else and that was very simple and it was honestly quite nice but then they added more blocks and, and it got a bit more complicated and it's still fine so I, I guess the title was slightly clickbait now that I thought about it I don't not like the block right it's, it's a good addition but I, I don't necessarily agree with the direction the game is going in, right? I I think the game is very much leaning towards kind of like Factorio create mod type of stuff now. Like, more focus on redstone automation, which I really like, but it doesn't feel like Minecraft anymore. It feels like create mod, if you guys understand what I mean. Like, create mod is basically like you can add a bunch of conveyor belts, you automatically craft a bunch of stuff. That's what create mod is. I never imagined Minecraft would take this type of direction, right? Because if you add the crafter, that leads you to question why not automate other stuff? Why not automate block placing? Right? And then at that point, the game kind of becomes just like a factory automation, build as many farms as possible. Which one can argue that, honestly, the survival progression of the game right now is kind of just build as many farms as possible too, which is kind of true. So. I don't know, I just never really expected them to add this block. Uh, but I'm quite happy they do. I'm very excited to see where it goes. I just think that it's a drastic kind of direction shift for the game. From more of a like open world sandbox to kind of a factory-ish thing. And obviously, it's, it's not really that. But I think it, it can be almost interpreted that way. Like... I guess it's just an update that focuses a lot more on the redstone technical aspects, which 
I guess it's okay. Yeah. See, now, now that I've talked about it, I think I, I, I like the direction it's going. I just remember... It, it's just it's just different. Like, the game is forever different now. And it, it's forever different after every update, for sure. But it, I think this is, like, one of the most revolutionary blo blocks of all time. So sorry for clip clickbaiting you guys. I, it, it's just a very interesting block. That it, it it's a lot more complex than it first appears. I think, because okay, it, it's an auto crafter, but what does it unlock? What does it mean for the game, right? If you have auto crafting, why why not auto mining? You see where I'm going with this? Like, it's just like I thought it was a line that they never crossed, and now they cross it, I'm a bit surprised, but ple slightly pleasantly surprised, I guess. But I, I'm just I don't know where the game's going. And which is okay, right? It, and like the thing about Minecraft is, no matter what, I don't think you'll ever get to recreate the true original Minecraft feel. The true original Minecraft feel was there because you remember playing as a child. The nostalgia contributes to that true Minecraft feel. I'll probably make another video about this. I want to make a video essay about this too. It's like Minecraft isn't changing. The new updates don't really matter. They're not what's making the game feel not simple not like right anymore it's just that you've grown up that the game doesn't feel <laughs> the same anymore it's that you remember what the game was before right for kids playing like nowadays like this will be their memories that they look fondly upon and i don't know i don't know if that makes sense but yeah that's all i really have for today uh, thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed the video please let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments um I am always looking for new opinions, new perspectives, but and tell me if I'm wrong, please. Uh, but yeah, that's all I really have for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.